Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel. Great to be with you today, thank you so much for dropping in. I wanted to have just a brief lesson with you today on a topic that I find really, really interesting about the collective consciousness, about our part of the collective consciousness, the consciousness that is the world today, our part of it and the importance of carving out our own journey, the importance of finding your own niche in this thing, of finding your own destiny and moving powerfully towards that. Why? Well, that's all coming up next. Let's step right into it. Welcome back to the channel, folks. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, why don't you consider subscribing? That'd help us a great deal. And for all of the recent subscribers, a welcome to the Elevate family. Feel welcome to reach out to me anytime. I love getting alongside people. I love journeying with people. I have nothing to sell you, so just reach out anytime. But for today, I wanted to talk briefly about the collective consciousness and the importance of your own individual journey. What do I mean by all of this? What I mean is this, every citizen of earth, every person that is alive today is connected. We're all energy. We know everything is energy. It was Nikola Tesla who said, if you want to unlock the secrets of the universe, you must think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. What did he mean by that all those years ago? He meant this. If you examine anything at the subatomic level, at its particle level, it is simply vibrational frequency. It's energy vibrating at a high resonant frequency to manifest the physicality of what we see. As an example, if you're watching me on a computer screen or a phone or something, or a tablet, something like that, if you were to take that device and slide it under a really powerful microscope, you will see all of the particles vibrating and interlocking together in the same way. Thoughts have energy. Words and sound have energy. Hey, we even call it waveform energy, sound waves. Watch a speaker, crank the music up really loud and watch that speaker vibrating like this. This is not doing anything, just the vibrating. But it's what's coming through that creates the sound wave. It's energy vibrating at a certain frequency. In the same way, we understand the importance of carving out our own journey through life. Of not seeing somebody else's journey, identifying with it and saying, yep, that's for me, I'll have that journey. Because we are all part of the collective consciousness. Let me put it to you like this. There are so many times that I speak with people who want what everybody else has got. They spend money they don't have to buy things they can't afford to impress people they don't even like. Why? Because they identify with other people's journeys. Why do we have all of these people, it's almost at epidemic proportions, all these young beautiful girls and guys going out and going under the knife, getting cosmetic surgery, taking in photos. I want to look like uh, Kendall Jenner, I want to look like this, I want to, whatever it might be. It's one thing to be on your own journey and have pride in that and have a clear idea of where you want to go. It's quite another to see the journey of someone else and want to hold and take that for yourself. Why? Because we are all a part of the collective consciousness. Therefore, we all have a unique destiny to fulfill. So if you're caught up in someone else's journey, you want to be Chris Brown, 
You want to be a pop star. You want to be a movie star. You want to be Jordan Belfort, the, world, the, the Wolf of Wall Street. You want, you want to be rich and famous, whatever it might be. If you identify with and you are caught up in somebody else's journey, that is their journey, that is not your journey. So we need the awareness and the awakening within to become alive and alert to that and understand that as part of the collective consciousness, we are all artists. I want you to think of the world's biggest artwork. A great big blank canvas that's the size of the universe. And every living thing that has ever been and that will ever be comes onto this canvas in its own little space with its own paints and paintbrushes and adds its own brush strokes and colour and beauty and abstract art to this great big artwork that is the universe, the canvas that all life is written on. This is the only artwork that will always stand the test of time. This is an artwork that could never be replaced, that has more value than there are dollars in the world. You know, I'm reminded that when carving the great David statue, the statue of David, it was Michelangelo who said, I didn't carve the angel out of stone. I saw the angel trapped in stone and I carved it free. He said, I didn't carve an angel out of stone. I saw an angel trapped in stone and I carved to set it free. In the same way, we all have our paint brushes and colours and our own little part on the rich canvas of life that is the artwork of the collective consciousness. Our life, the story of our life, the decisions we make, the journey we take, all adds to this rich, colourful, beautiful artwork that is life. We are all connected. All energy is connected. Nothing is separate. That's why there is a saying, and we know that there, no man is an island. Everyone and everything is connected. Therefore, we must learn to use our energy to align with the collective consciousness and see that somebody else's journey is not ours. It's okay to aspire to be rich and famous. You're just not going to be the you're not going to be Kim Kardashian or, 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 or Kanye West or Beyonce. Or, you can't be them. You are you. You may have a career that's more successful, more world-renowned than any of those people, but how will you ever know if you can't get out of their shadow? So stop looking to people and places and things to copy and understand what makes up the rich tapestry of our own life is just carving our own niche out of this thing, is painting with our own paint set on the tapestry of life, actually investing in the beauty that is the collective consciousness. Folks, I hope this brief message has blessed you today to know that you don't have to follow in the footsteps of others. You can break out and live your own destiny and manifest all of your dreams in power. My name's Ben. Come back real soon and join me. For, but for today, that's it. I love you. See you next time. Peace.